In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Turcal safety needle for paracentesis, as well as two options for hooking up a drainage system. The Turcal safety needle is located in the supply area near OBS at both campuses, as well as the bottom drawers of the mobile procedure carts. The Turcal needle is an 8 French catheter over needle system with a blunt retractable tip for decreasing the risk of bowel injury. When pressure is applied to the tip of the needle, the blunt end retracts, exposing the sharp end, and the indicator changes from green to pink. When pressure is released off the tip, the blunt end extends, and the indicator changes from pink back to green. Use your usual landmarks and point of care ultrasound to identify the best site for paracentesis. You would proceed with your usual sterile preparation and local anesthesia. Use a scalpel to make a tiny skin incision. Advance the Turcal needle through the small skin incision. The blunt tip will retract as you're passing through skin and subcutaneous tissue and then will extend once you reach the low resistance of the peritoneal cavity. To confirm that you're in the right location, attach a syringe to the other end of the Turcal needle and aspirate to confirm acidic fluid. You can send any aspirated fluid to the lab for analysis. The next step is to remove the needle, leaving the catheter in place. Hold the catheter just above the stopcock and remove the needle. You can then discard it. The first option for drainage is to use a plastic vacuum bottle. Take the tubing from the vacuum bottle and attach it via lure lock at the stopcock. Next, switch the stopcock to the open position. Next, ensure that the clamp on the tubing is open and you can start the drainage by releasing the white clip on the vacuum bottle. Each bottle holds 600 mils and costs $27. If further drainage is needed, clamp the tubing and disconnect the full bottle at the lure lock at the top of the bottle. You can then reconnect a fresh bottle using the tubing you've left in place. The second option for drainage is to use a connecting tube and a Foley drainage bag. Take the connecting tube, remove the cap from the lure lock and attach the connecting tube to the stopcock using the lure lock. Take the tubing from the Foley drainage bag and attach it to the other end of the connecting tube. You can secure this connection with a piece of pink tape. The next step is to turn the stopcock to the open position and place the bag on the floor to allow gravity drainage. It can accommodate up to 4 litres. Once drainage is complete, pull out the catheter and provide the usual post-procedure care. 